Hey guys, it's Landon with RH and On Point Workshops. I've got QGIS version 3.36 up, and I'm going to show you how to um, customize your attribute form in QGIS. Uh, the reason I'm doing this is we're, we're actually using Mergen Maps to take our QGIS projects into the field with us offline. So if you haven't checked out uh, Mergen Maps, I would encourage you to do that. It is a commercial subscription. Uh, you know, it's a commercial application with a subscription, but they do excellent work. And if you're already using uh, QGIS, it is definitely the way to go. So here's their website. Um, and it's very reasonably priced. They've got their pricing right here. So check those guys out. I'll try and remember to put that link uh, in the description for the video on YouTube. <clears throat> but you can use this to uh, customize your attribute form, even if you're if you're not carrying it into the field with an application like Mergen Maps. So <clears throat> I'm going to do that for this layer I've got here. It's called RH Landline Mark. So these are our signs and and tree blazes uh, for these four services. We're doing some surveys for the four service here in the United States, <clears throat> and so we're we're collecting information on all the signs and blazes. And so right now we've been doing that in a, in a Venza with the simple place mark, but we want to be able to collect some more complicated attribute data. And pardon my sniffling, it's allergy season for me here in Central California, so I'm, I'm sniffling a little bit. So let me just show you what this looks like right now. <coughs> Excuse me. So we're going to make this layer editable. And then if I wanted to go and uh, create a new feature here, uh, it's just going to pull up this default form here. So we have the type of, of line mark. Uh, we give it an identifier. You can put some notes in, and then we just have a spot for who, who the steward is. Is it the Forest Service, the BLM, or, or a private timber company? Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna customize this a little bit, uh, but I want to add uh, a couple attributes first. Now I will tell you there's a good video um, from the Mergen Maps folks. Uh, that walk you through a little bit of how to do this, but I, I thought I'd do my own video because you never know when it when it helps to get a second look at, at this kind of thing. Um, but let me show you the video they, that, that they have. I wish these guys had more, um, I wish they had more videos. Um, to demonstrate so, the widgets. This is their uh, video here, how to configure widgets for survey forms. Um, and it, it, it walks you through. So I'm going to do something a little bit similar to this. <clears throat> so check out that other video if you're struggling with this. Okay, but what I want to do and something they don't do in the other videos, I'm going to add a couple attributes that I want here. <clears throat> so we're going to we're going to tweak the, the structure of this layer a little bit. So I'm going to open up the properties now that it's editable. And I'm going to come down here to fields. And um, I'm going to add a, a new field. Uh, and we're going to call it support because it could be a post or a tree. And we're going to make it uh, text. And I think 10 is fine. 10, 10, a length of 10 is fine. So we want to know, is this is it a, a post or a tree? And then let's see. We also want to know uh, if it's a blaze, what type of blaze it is. So we're going to put blaze type. And I'm going to make that one a, lo a little bigger and make that 50. <clears throat> okay, and apply that. And then we're going to come down here to the attribute forms and we're going to um, we're going to set these up. We're going to we're going to configure these attributes a little bit. Um, so on the type here, uh, I want to use a value map for the widget. And I actually have a, another video that shows you how to do this. Um, Let's just get rid of some of these. <clears throat> so you can see I just loaded the values there for my layer. So I'm just going to go through here. Some of these are, are bad values. Boundary sign, sign and blaze. You can see we misspelled boundary there. We don't need monument. Respelled re boundary two times. Place mark 10, we don't need that. <clears throat> so 
So we're just going to clean these up. So that looks okay to me. Uh, we're going to say, hey, we're not going to allow that to be null. <clears throat> and then the default value, let's see, we're going to make it um, existing blaze. We're going to make the default because that's the one we have most commonly. Oh, it doesn't like that. Syntax error, unexpected name, expecting send. Hmm. So let's just do... See if this works. All right, so you got to put it in single quotes there. Okay, so I think that's what we're going to do for the type. The identifier, we're going to say make it not null and it needs to be unique. Uh, notes, we're not going to do anything with. Um, steward, we are also going to make a value map. We can load those from the layer. And then we'll get rid of some of these. <clears throat> I don't know how this happened. <clears throat> so we'll clean these up a little bit. Okay, and then I need to add one for the BLM. Okay, and we're going to say that also needs to be not null. Um, and then default value, um, we I think on this one I'm going to make it uh, the not applicable. We'll make the default value. Okay, so now you can see when we just open up our form. So if I go in and create a new point here. Um, you can see we've got some drop downs now, some combo boxes um, that, that limit us to those values. <clears throat> okay, guys, so I fixed the blaze type attribute. Now it's given me a list here. And uh, I also uh, made the support type a, uh, I made the support type a drop down. And so uh, one other thing I wanted to show you on the form is if you if you require the value to not be null, you'll see it, it QGIS is uh, highlighting that in kind of a brown color, right? So the notes, you don't have to have a note, that's why it's gray, but these other ones are brown because we don't have a value in, right? So once we pick a value, those uh, no, are no longer gray. All right, so <clears throat> we're just about done here. I want to do one other thing which is just add some tabs. So we'll go back into the properties of our layer. I noticed I had this wrong. This shouldn't say sign, this should say post. <clears throat> so what we can do now, if we come over here to the drag and drop designer, uh, we can add a couple of tabs. So we're gonna call the first one main. We're gonna add that tab and then we're gonna add another one and call it details. Okay, now we can drag stuff into um, the, the tabs, and I actually want identifier to be before type. Um, and then we'll put steward and notes under details, and then we're also going to add support and blaze type under details. Okay, so now we'll have a couple tabs. So let's see how that looks. So you can see now we've got some tabs, just make it a little easier for the user to navigate. And this will load in our Mergen Maps app on our phone and we'll be able to collect uh, some more attribute data. So before when we were doing this, we were just adding a place mark with a photo in, a, in Avenza, the Avenza app. And then we were uh, having to put all the, the attribute info in a, in the description, and then we would bring those points into QGIS, and we'd have to kind of go split all that data up by hand in the description and fill out the attributes. So now we'll be able to just add all that attribute data directly in Mergen Maps in the field, and uh, and this will just uh, load right into QGIS, um, right into the layer in QGIS. So this is going to save us a ton of time.
And there you go. That's how you can uh, set up your attribute data forms for Mergen Maps in your QGIS project. Just a couple quick quick things to remember. Uh, before you do that, you want to go into your layer and you want to make sure that you've got all your um, attributes configured uh, properly, right? So your not null and your neat, unique, your constraints and your and your widget types and your value maps or your value table, valid value tables. You want to have all that set up before you you go to try this in Mergen Maps, right? So do this first, and then don't forget you can um, add some tabs if you want. Uh, and if you don't want to do to do tabs, you can also do group boxes. Um, so that's another way you can kind of organize your form. Um, and then you'll be ready to go for some attribute data collection in the field. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching. Appreciate it.